on the fifth film, yeah. you came to the set and we had probably the biggest talk about the character we've ever had, even though it wasn't yeah, a major did, thing. Right. But it was, yeah. I was kind of more asking questions about the relevance of Dumbledore's army and, you know, yeah. how important is that in terms of what will happen later? Yeah. I remember that what you said to me was it's very important because at some point Harry will have to lead large numbers of people. Yeah, and the only the... real resistance, the only organised resistance, really. Yeah. I always knew final battle would happen at Hogwarts. So that's where we were always walking towards. So along the way I had to set it up so that Harry had become a leader of some form of resistance movement because it was far too implausible. Oh, I remember actually... that talk. I remember yes. that talk vividly. And I and on the wall in my room, I had uh, I I just done a um, a big project uh, where I'd taken pictures of lots of authors uh, off the internet and written a little biography about them underneath, and then put their names up. And I did loads of them. I can definitely remember you picking it out. George Eliot. And tell about the relevance of, of George Eliot. I, when I was looking for a maiden name for Lily, I chose Evans on the basis that it had been George Eliot's real name. See, that's, <laughs> that's wonderful. I don't think anybody knows that, do they? No, I, it's just one of those very, just quite random things. But sometimes, for strange reasons, you'll use a name and it always thereafter means more to you than it does to any, anyone else. Yeah, so I do remember that.